What's up guys, Kevin here. We're doing a little Christmas songs. It's not too early, I guess. Live here on Facebook, I'm Kevin from Relax Learn Guitar. Oh, there's some folks that are already here. What's up, Anthony? Ken? Oh, good luck to you, Ken. Your surgery. What's up, Dave and Randy's here. Richard Fisher's here. And we got Brad Davis in the house. Bill Manning, what's up, Bill? Good to see you. Did you say, did you say Diana was here? Mm-hmm. Hello, Diana, good to see you as well. I wasn't expecting you. And Tom Carpenter's here too. A little festive, I'm not sure if the Christmas decorations will stay on the guitar or not. If you're new here, I'm Kevin from Relax and Learn Guitar, where I teach folks over 40 how to play the guitar. I do that with some easy and relaxed laid back lessons so folks can become the guitar players they always want to be. Uh, joining us is Maggie May, our official mascot, and she is sniffing around for a treat, so let's do that and say hello to our friends out there. She, she knows there's she knows there's one more. This is it. You say hello to our nice friends out in YouTube, Bill. Maggie. And the other voice you guys hear is uh, my wife, Vicki, who's behind the camera. She helps with relaxing guitar a lot with the comments and the camera. What's up, Enric? Good to see you as well. I wonder if it needs to go more, like I'm not really centered. I know. Better keep going over. Oh, yeah. And you just need to raise it up a little bit. So, and Brad Davis is here. He says, hello, Vicki. Hi, Brad. So, welcome to Relax Learn Guitar. Mm -hmm. Excited to be here with you guys tonight for a little another live stream. We've been doing these, uh, been trying to do these on most Wednesdays. Doesn't really work out to be all of them, but. What's the BPM? Um, the beats per minute. The BPM is about 78 or so. I was just looking at that right before we started to see kind of what tip I'm playing it at. Um, we're gonna be doing a little Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer because it's not too early for Christmas. This time last year was total bonkersville here, uh, you know, as you guys know with the whole COVID thing. So I'm really hoping, and I've gotten some questions lately with folks who are anticipating being asked to play the guitar at their family gatherings. Hopefully this is a much different, uh, much different holiday get togethers this year than last year. So I wanna give you guys some uh, tunes you can have ready to go. This is a great one for entertaining uh, kids and grandkids. I mean, adults too. I mean, who doesn't love Rudolph? And I was playing the uh, BPM stands for beats per minute and it's about 78 or so, somewhere in that range. Miss Maggie, I don't have any more. Sorry. And this song always reminds me of, you know, I get on my high horse, not my high horse, but back in the day, there wasn't anything, uh, such thing as like streaming video, which I'm very grateful for. <laughs> Use it all the time now. Uh, but, and our family didn't have a VHS or anything like that. So the Rudolph special that came on was very special because it was actually one time a year and you had to be in the living room in front of the TV at that time to watch it. So um, I always think about that Christmas special when I play this song and the great animation. Oh, it was Burl Ives. I don't know that. Was that? I was looking at Vicky. Great special. That's what this one always reminds me of. So we're starting off the holiday season with a little Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Hey, what's going on, Frank? And Michael Gonzalez is here. Ron's here. Michael Gregory. I missed anybody I'm really sorry so the first thing I'll say about this tune is I'm going to be using a capo you don't have to I'm using a capo I'm putting it on my third fret that's just because my voice is low um, and I use a capo so I can sing this one a little better uh, you can use a capo on whatever fret you like or don't use one at all whatever matches your voice if you're singing along with your with your guitar playing she also mentioned if we lose any kind of weirdness and connection, then stick around. We will be back. 
Um, we're also trying on a new mic, so hopefully you guys can see and hear me okay. What's up, Don? Glad you're here. So the uh, capos for the voice, uh, you do, you can or cannot use. It doesn't, just depends on what your preference is. So I'm going to play this one a little bit. Uh, I'm going to sing it, do my best, and then we will talk about it and break it down and learn it together. So here's a little Rudolph for you. You know Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen. Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen. But do you recall the most famous reindeer of all? Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows. All of the other reindeer used to laugh and call him names. They wouldn't let poor Rudolph play in any reindeer games. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then all the reindeer loved him as they shouted out with glee. Off the red nosed reindeer, you'll go down in history. And that's a little Rudolph for you. And this one's also great. Kids and grandkids can put those little pieces in between, you know, the ho ho ho's and the used to laugh and call them names. You know, there's all those little, like, depending on what age you are and when you grew up, what the little sayings in between are. So, always fun to entertain. And the grandkids always like this one this time of year. So, hopefully they'll have fun with it. So, let's talk about a couple things. So, for this intro, depending on your guitar level, if you were, like, a true beginner... You can even skip the whole first part about, you know, Dasher, and just like sing it if you want to, because there's several different chords there. Um, but I'll go through those first. But if you are a true beginner, you can even just start with the chorus of the song if you want to. But if you want to tackle that beginning, you know, Dasher, the first uh, chord, and these are all basically just one strum down, kind of slow on each chord. So the first chord's a C, and that's an index finger, second string, first fret. Middle finger, fourth string, uh, sorry, I should say this, I wrote to to the capo. The index fingers on the second string, first fret, and now this is relative to here. And your middle finger is going to be on the fourth string, second fret, and your ring finger is going to be on the fifth string, third fret. And strum from the fifth string down. That's important. You need to know that the fifth string is the root or the base of that C string, or that C chord. So you know Dasher and Dancer. Dancer is a B minor bar chord. If you can play a bar chord, I recommend it because it sounds deeper and richer. If you don't want to tackle the bar chord, you can just play from the fourth string down and fret it this way. So you have your, um, well, let's talk about the bar chord first. If you're barring it, you're barring the entire second fret with your index finger, and then you're playing kind of this A minor shape in front of it. You got your middle finger on that third fret, second string, your ring finger on the fourth string, fourth fret, and your pinky on the third string, fourth fret. What's that? Mr. Randy Buffington. Oh, I did not get an email you were doing this. I stumbled upon it. Is there a tab sheet for this? So Randy, this, there is not, well, there is if you're a member of Relax Learn Guitar. <laughs> so members can log into the members area whenever they like to watch this lesson whenever they like. And there is a tablature download there in the members area for it. So yes. Terry said he's going out by his Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> Terry's getting a Christmas tree. Hey man, our Kroger already has them out. So I'm sure you'll find one. So if you're going to bar it, you're going to bar that second fret and have that A minor shape in front of it. If you don't want to tackle the bar chord, you can just kind of back things up. Play with uh, your index finger on the first string, second fret. And then that uh, middle finger 
on the second string, third fret, middle on the ring and pinky on the fourth and third strings respectively on that fourth fret. And that would just be the fourth string down. So you know Dasher and Dancer and Prancer is an A minor seven chord. It sounds much worse than it is. You're gonna play from the fifth string down and you just have index finger on the second string first fret and your middle finger on the fourth string, uh, sorry, your index finger on the second string first fret and your middle finger is on the fourth string second fret. It's an E minor seven chord. And Vixen is a G chord. Index here, fifth string, second fret, middle finger, sixth string, third fret, and ring finger, first string, third fret. Then it repeats, Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen. Just one strum down for each of those. And then you slow it down a little bit on an E minor. But do you recall? It's an E minor. Index and middle fingers on the fifth and fourth strings of the second fret, all six strings. But do you recall? And then it's an A chord, and typically, uh, please hold while I get Maggie to stop chewing on her paw. <laughs> Sorry. It's live for a reason, folks. We've tried, like, to uh, kind of keep her occupied. Now we just kind of go with it. So whatever happens live is what happens. But do you recall? So E minor to an A. And I like playing that A chord the traditional way, so you can have that high E ring out. If you guys watch any of my videos... I play a lot of my A chords with a mini bar, but for this song I'm using the traditional index, middle, and ring fingers all on the fourth, third, and second strings of that second fret. The most famous, which is the A minor seven chord again, Reindeer of All. And that one is an arpeggio. You're just gonna pick each strings, four, three, two, and one on a D seven chord. And I I call that one like the backwards D. So instead of this, you have this. You have index finger, second string, first fret, middle finger on the uh, third string, second fret, and your ring finger on the first string, second fret. And that's real. And then you wanna have a dramatic pause before you jump into the tune. And that's what the kids are all like. <laughs> What's he doing next? Um, hey, like, glad you like it, Mark. The, uh, so the meat and potatoes, like I said, if you want to sing through that little intro, you can. If you are a little further along and can handle those chord changes, then by all means do it. Then we get into the Rudolph the Red Nose, the part that everyone knows. It's a G chord, starts on a G. We're just going to be alternating G and D chords. And the strum pattern is going to be, and it's about... Uh, I'll do this with a metronome. I've got it on 78. Yeah, that's about right. So you want to do, uh, you want to work your way up to about 78 beats per minute. And the G, the important pieces here are the root and bass notes. So for this G chord, it's the sixth string root. The, the uh, strum pattern is bass, and that's just the bass string of whatever chord you're playing. Bass down, up, down, up. It's kind of like this. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. So it's the G. Rudolph the red nose reindeer had a very shiny D. The D, you're going to play the fourth string as the root. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows G. All of the other reindeer used to laugh and call him names D. They wouldn't let poor Rudolph play any reindeer G. So the great part about this song is you don't have to worry about like the number of strum patterns. I don't really think that way. I kind of change them on the words. 
So it starts on a G, changes to a D on nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows. That's a G. All of the other reindeer used to like and call him names. That's the D. They wouldn't let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer games. That's the G. Put your G's and D's. Face down, up, down, up. Then we get to the part where him and Santa hook up here and save the day. We switch to a C chord here. And the C chord is a fifth string root. So that G is a sixth string root. The D is a fourth string root. And the C is a fifth string root. So you have, then one foggy G. C came to G. So you're just alternating C, G. One strum pattern each if you want to kind of think of it that way. D. Rudolph with your nose so bright Won't you And I just kind of do that one time Won't you guide my sleigh tonight So it's an A minor 7 One time And then guide my sleigh tonight It's just a quick Down up on that D7 chord Yeah. So the whole thing there is uh, Then one foggy Christmas Eve Santa came to say Rudolph with your nose so bright Won't you, won't you guide my sleigh tonight Then back to the outro Which is the same as the intro Then how the reindeer loved him G As they slide out with glee D Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer You'll go down in his store G Minor seven D G. So there at the end again, alternate that G and that D. You'll go down in history. So it ends on a G for history. And I just like throwing in this little. For the end there. So an A minor seven. That's the one that sounds very complicated but isn't. And then a D. This is one strum pattern each, basically. D. End on a G. And you have a little Rudolph that everyone will enjoy, I'm sure. Got some questions? Uh, leave those here in the comments, and we will definitely answer those. Ron Cunningham, how does the red... Oh, capo work. <laughs> this is a very special capo. This is the... Uh, we need something Christmassy. Oh, let's grab a Christmas bow. And I'm surprised it stayed on the whole time. So <laughs> I guess I could put it on the capo. I don't know if it would stay there. Um, you sound a video on both great. Don't change. Oh, good. So uh, thumbs up. Hopefully the uh, new microphone setup is working out. So, and I haven't seen any crazy like buffering issues. I was, I was like, I was criticizing the whole streaming thing earlier, but like, hey man, without streaming, we wouldn't be doing this. So, right. what is that? Where is the A minor seven played at the end? So uh, you have, uh, let's end it up here. Rudolph the red nosed reindeer, you'll go down in history. A minor seven one time, D one time, as far as patterns. G one time. So that's just kind of the the very last after you say down in history you're going to do the a minor seven with one pattern the d with one pattern the g with one pattern so that helps your answer your question mr randy hope this uh thumbs up there if that helped and yeah if you guys have any questions and just let us know if you'd like to learn some more songs i'm going to uh, Vicky will put a link in the chat right now. Uh, offer a free song lesson bundle. You can just click the link, pop in your email address. These are, if you're a member, uh, members already have access to these songs. But if you're not yet um, signed up and get on the email list, you can do that for free with this song lesson bundle. They're not Christmas songs, but you can learn some new tunes. They come complete with the uh, PDFs to download. Loser. 
Oh, says it sounds perfect. Good. We've been, we've been fiddling around with microphones for the last two or three weeks, and I hope, I think we finally got one we like. The tab doesn't show it, Randy said. I guess in the membership? Oh, you are correct. I just <laughs> kind of added that on tonight as I was kind of gearing up for this. I will um, update the tablature in the members area because I think I only put like the, um, like the, the uh, like the bar chords, the A minor seven, like don't have like all the chords listed. So I will um, fix that for the members. So you have it. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin and Vicky sounded good. So Vicky, I think was like singing along a little bit. <laughs> it's hard not to. Yeah, so there's the um, link there for the, um, Let's see if that, I always like to click and make sure it works. Yep, we're good there. Um, Randy said he likes the mic. Good, good, good. It's always hard to find something that works exactly. You are welcome, Randy. So I'll probably sign off here. The uh, live streams we've been doing have been lasting around 20 or 30 minutes. Uh, before I, I take off, I want to remind folks that if you're not yet a member and the full access membership for Relax Learn Guitar, then definitely check it out. Uh, Vic will put a link in here for that as well. You can click on that link and learn all about the full access membership. Uh, I can't brag enough about our members. They are amazing. There's several of them on here tonight. And uh, that's where you can go. Uh, very reasonable and uh, easy way to get access to, gosh, over 200 lessons that I have, all the downloads, all the tablature, all the printouts, an incredible community of music lovers over 40 that I very much enjoy working with. You're welcome, Robert. And you're welcome, Diana. So if you've not yet checked that out, we would love to be part of your uh, guitar story and um, have you join up, get access to those lessons. We do uh, exclusive live events for members, um, direct support, get your questions answered. Kind of is, we are what you see. Like what you see is what you get. Nothing real uh, fancy, but I'll help you learn how to play guitar and play some of your favorite songs. Sunday. And uh, Rick, you are uh, welcome. No problem. And same thing for Mr. Fisher. And remember, if you're a member, you can uh, definitely log in and check out the replay of this, and I'll update the uh, download for you guys to print out. Hi, Brad. See you, Mr. Davis. Add this one to your list when those folks say, play something on the guitar, now you'll have a nice little Christmas tune to entertain folks. It's a fun one. We're going to be doing some more, right? Yeah, um, we'll be doing live streams um, here on YouTube pretty regularly, and definitely be doing some more Christmas tunes just because it's going to go so fast. It's crazy how fast time goes. <laughs> so we'll definitely do some more um, Christmas songs coming up, so keep an eye out. Uh, subscribe and get those notifications for those live streams. That would be awesome. We'd love to have you. Oh, you're welcome, Mr. Enric. Glad you liked it. You're welcome, Anthony. Dave says, Dave Lister thinks he's got it. Excellent. You're welcome, Don Calloway, as well. Yeah, so uh, thanks so much for tuning in. Always like connecting with you guys live. Uh, members, remember, we have a uh, our member lessons coming up this Sunday night. So... Be sure and look in the private members Facebook group for that live members lesson this Sunday at 7 p.m. Doing some eagles. What's up, Bruce? Something he can play for the cats at Christmas. Excellent. You're welcome, Mr. Manning. All right, I'm going to sign off here. You guys have a great evening and um, put on your Santa caps. Put some bows on your guitars. And uh, get going, and we'll see you guys for the next one. Hi, everyone.